Hello everyone and welcome back to Manor Lords and we are working our way through our first winter at the moment. Things are very picturesque in our little town of Bebenberg. Um, last time out we, we did quite a lot, didn't we? We built some new houses, we got some mines in. And obviously we did get our first church in as well, which was... Uh, what, are they, what are they doing here? What's, oh, they're building the, um, the little shrines that I put on the walk up there so i thought that'd be quite nice and you have a few little shrines on the way up to the church uh right so we've got currently we've got four unassigned families um though we are deliberately not using certain roles at the moment so there will be roles for them when we have finished but we do have quite a lot of of things going on have we actually got anyone we've got seven there why does it say we have seven timber, but only three up there? I'm still not entirely convinced by some of that, but... Uh, and crucially, we've got fuel for five months and food for nine months. So we are pretty healthy. We should see this first year out quite nicely. And then we're into the spring, where we get all our seasonal deposits will regrow before summertime, when we can start looking at harvesting these fields. And in order to do the harvesting... What point can we upgrade these bad boys? Oh, it needs more. We need more timber. Um, we can start thinking about some of the other other things, which will be uh, where was it? It is in. Yeah, we can start thinking about maybe some of these things, like the malt house, for example. Start creating some uh, malt, which of course we can use to make some beers. We did get that. Ah, yes, that's what we're building at the moment. That's why it's saying we don't have as much timber because that is earmarked for the communal oven and the windmill, which we are building in preparation for the summer's harvest so we can turn some of that lovely wheat into some lovely bread. There has been an update to the game recently. Uh, balancing some a few things, making a few changes here and there. And I believe there is now the option... Yeah, this one here. This is the one of the bigger ones that the community was calling out for, which is allowing the market stall setup, which basically allows you to further sort of micromanage which buildings and which houses set up their own stalls for for the market. So at the moment, I don't think we need to worry about it too much, but that might be something we need to worry about as the village and town continues to grow. We get more and more people in. Um, Army-wise, we're okay. We should probably think about with our raw resources. We've got 53 stone, 46 iron, or 50 clay as well. I'm pretty sure we did also set up from a trade perspective. I'm sure we also set up. Did we? Yes, we did. We set up trading for the iron ore and for the clay, so we should be in a good spot with all that. But one thing we don't have at the moment is any way, yeah, is to convert them into the iron slabs. But I'm kind of cautious about the fact that all of these buildings, or a lot of these buildings, will need fuel to, to power them and to make them work. But we will need a bloomery and we will need a smithy at some point. And then, where's our military, 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 is there a military tab? We don't have a military tab at the moment. Yeah, okay, we don't have any of that. All of the other things, all of the other buildings, I think, are done through here, aren't they? So we can have a little workshop set up. Okay, our windmill is complete. It's on a, on a little bit of a hill, so it is languishing slightly precariously on the uh, on the edge of those stone slabs that will speed things along so probably not the worst idea to get somebody working back at the logging camp again and maybe we look to no don't relocate it uh which one is this in here isn't it at the work area. So we've got lots of little trees being planted over here. And they're all growing nicely, but there's still 
some time away from, from fully growing, aren't they? Where are you working at the moment? And some leather and ten tools. You bastards. They've nicked all of our tools. We only had ten. Oh, those, ba those bandits are so irritating. Because to, to, to get rid of them, that's a fair old march to go over there and, and get rid of them. I'm assuming it is those ones. It can't be... Are there any others? I mean, there's one there. And there's one down there. Why aren't the other places getting rid of them? Are they not stealing from the other places? The other... <clears throat> the other towns and villages in this in this region. Very very frustrating. Anyway, so have we got any houses now? I think all of the houses are now occupied, which is good. All right, speed along again. Get into the spring because once the spring comes along and the seasonal deposits regrow like that one there that is shrinking as things stand one animals is at eight which is worrying because i'm fairly certain i told them to limit it to 10. so unless they've just unless that number has gone down by itself it's a bit worrying that they've gone below that 10 mark are they where are the people there are they yeah okay so they they are adhering to the rules so they're not actually out actively hunting at the moment, which is good. And look, the snow is beginning to fade. We are reaching the end of our winter period. We've received reports of a band of raiders roaming the nearby lands. Should we track their steps? Another art ruler's army was sighted. Mercenaries. I mean, they're right down the bottom, so that's not uh, not too much of a problem at the moment. He says confidently. I don't even think I can create militia at the moment because I think I need to get to can I hire mercenaries. I can hire the okay. I can hire these guys. I can hire the Wayward Sons. Is that not? The people that I just saw on the map. No, they're the Brotherhood of the Forest. Okay. That's fine. Face the winter and have your settlers not abandon you. Okay, well, that's something we need to be prepared of then. If we don't have a very good summer, we will be abandoned. Right, that's now growing, so we're in March. We can keep an eye on the berry deposit. We're not obviously going to be doing anything too much for the time being. We've still got eight months of food in reserve. Wild animals is back up to ten. I wonder how long the berries take to uh, to replenish. How's our crops doing over here? Yeah, they're all looking healthy despite the harsh winter. Right, everything's quite peaceful at the moment, so what would be on the agenda next then? So we can certainly... 41 planks at the moment, so we've got five months of fuel. Do we look to maybe get in? What, so it, as and when we... Oh, we can upgrade some of these burgage plots. So maybe we look to get some more houses in. I think that's probably what we should do. Get some more houses in and then upgrade a few of these burgage plots. So that we can start to look at getting some of these things here. We don't, we're not going to need too many of them. Not going to get too many of them, but... We probably should look to do that, so where are we? Residential, burgage plots. I want to put it right next to... I'm not sure I want to put it right next to the mine. That might be a bit uh, heavy-handed. A couple in there. 
Remember, I am just effectively doing nothing but just doing it on a whim, you know? We are, we're not uh, adhering to any particular plan or building like that. We're just kind of throwing them in just to create this very random looking, but hopefully beautiful looking village at the end of it. Right, so that will then start that. So we're at 71%. Ah, look, one of the other things that they did also clear was that whole homelessness penalty that we continually had. So it's good to see that that's gone, and now we're in the green across the board. Uh, oh, look, that's growing nicely. So we can probably get some uh, people in there to start foraging for, for berries. The seasonal jobs coming around again. A little bit of snow just hanging on. How is our trade doing? Order a new horse. I don't think we have any horses at all, do we? Let's, let's get a horse in. Why the hell not? Doesn't cost a huge amount of money. 30 golds. Required settlement level is a small village. So what do we need to get to get to a small village? Uh, oh, we need two... Two uh, level two build uh, houses. Okay, that's fair enough. So we we can do that. Maybe we make these ones here. Maybe we make these these two can be our two artisan buildings. There we might look start building maybe towards this way. But, uh, the berries are over there. We can't do that really, can we? It's gonna have to be maybe here this way then. Start building a road. Like that. We can start building some houses around the outside there. Maybe even sneak one in here as well. Headling. Oh, you're you're in you're in there. Okay. Not sure why you're. Come one, come all. I don't know. I don't think you need to be peddling in the market. I don't see why they need to be in there. Also, the woman kind of sounds like a bloke. Right, I can probably... I've got a lot of... A lot of storage at the moment in those. Do we turn them off? We probably do. Let's just turn, turn some of these off for the time being. We have a lot of clay and stuff. Another ruler's army was sighted. That's the second army, Wayward Sons. That is a mercenary army that I could uh, command. The negotiation style of the game is kind of uh, limited at the moment, I think. Right, so we get these buildings done. And then hopefully... We can do that one now. We're going to upgrade that one. I was going to do these two, but I've decided... Maybe these two would be better, because they've got slightly... Uh, actually, no, the size of the garden is not that much different, is it? Need another ox, really, don't we? Upgrade, upgrade that. Get another ox in. Right, speed along. Keep an eye on the very deposit, make sure it doesn't start going down too quickly. Loads of berries again, which is great. And now that is fully grown. Magic, so harvest that to its heart's content. Look at the flax, look how beautiful this is looking. And our wheat now as well. Barley in the front fields. 
Yeah, we are going to have to. That's one thing we also need to keep a sort of one uh, small <coughs> sort of shred of thought about is the fact that we are going to have to then throw loads of people at that farmhouse to get those fields sorted out. I'm assuming that the farm itself doesn't need anything doing to it while it's growing. It will just grow on its own without any need to tend the fields. Let's hope that's the case anyway. All right, once again, let's speed things along. A region has been claimed. Who wants to claim this one, is it? Goldhoff. Oh, that one here. Okay, well, there's nothing much I can do about that at the moment. But if they are going to start expanding and start doing that, that is something we are going to have to stand up and pay attention to. Uh, right, how's our building over here coming along? Okay, they have begun. We do appear to have completely stripped this building away, though. Yep, we'll make that one upgrade as well, then. What, can I build another another one of those? Another hitching post? Let's have, an, let's have another hitching post, shall we? So we could really do with another ox. Yeah. A fire broke out. Where? Where, 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 where? No! My logging camp! Quick! Thankfully, the well is right there. Disaster! Put it out without killing yourselves. Fire has ended. <sighs> How much firewood have we just lost as a result of that? Is that now going to cost more wood to rebuild that? Is that going to cost more timber? I do hope not. All right, so they've rebuilt that, which is uh, which is grand. It also feels like all of these trees have regrown. That's a big patch of trees all of a sudden that have come out of nowhere. So I think our woodcutters or our forester, which is completely engulfed by the trees that it has planted. I think that is doing a stern job. Make sure you're working with that. I'm pretty sure I told you to do that already, but just to be safe. Right, we're now in April. Just two months away then from the summer harvest. So it's all about getting this, these buildings done here. Did we build out of the hitching post? No, nothing there. Oh, we have. Trade it available in three days. In two days. Come on. I want myself another ox. Yes, there we go. We have ourselves another ox coming in. That will help with uh, transportate, transportating, transporting the timber logs around the place. And all of a sudden, look how picturesque this is looking again. Flax fields are looking good. Crop growth of 57. There's still plenty of days of growth left in it yet.
How are we doing here? Oh, that is all of it. That is all of our logs now delivered to our first level two burgage plot for our artisans. You can see like, the difference in the uh, the build quality and how it looks. Here we go. Our first level two plot. And now we can get rid of the chicken coop and start to think about making a... I think blacksmiths there and in this one we'll have uh, the other one which was wait a minute I was going to say that one's not is that one no it's not been completed yet what are you on about it's under construction right okay I was going to say, what's, I was very confused there for a moment. Right, where is our second ox? That ox is travelling a long way to go and get... Where the hell are they going to go and get that timber? Travelling an awful long way. There's a very large tree that's come down across the road. Artisan workshops can sometimes produce multiple types of goods. To select what good is being produced, click on the general in, and then the building tab. Right, so to start with... Sidearm spears or pole arms. Iron slabs. So they, I mean, they need iron slabs before we can do any of this. So they're not going to... They're actually not going to be producing a damn thing. Until we... Get that bloomery. That can go there. Have we got a uh, another ox yet? So have we now got an ox who's also called Cunts as well? Or is Cunts the man who's walking him down? Because I'm sure one of these buildings has got a person called Cunts in it as well. There we go, look. Can we do it? Okay, so we've now got a man and a beast called Cunts. That man wasn't already suffering with abuse he's getting from his fellow villagers. He certainly is now. Our approval rating for that 82% now. So I, I guess he claimed that land in the end, did he? He did indeed. I don't feel like we are sizable enough yet to do that. But we're not, I don't think we're a million miles away. We do need to do some more building of houses and things. Are these guys a little bit too far away from this market? I mean, they're not, they don't feel, it doesn't feel like they're that far away. It's only there. But they don't seem to be getting a great deal of food variety. And I know there's not a huge amount of variety right now, in fairness. But they are growing their own veg. It's a real shame that you can't actually see how far along their own veg is before it's ready to be uh, picked. I mean, some of them don't look that close at all, in fairness. I mean, do they harvest at the same time of year when the crops do it would make sense that they did okay our bloomery is just about ready lovely old job okay oh look we're in may we're almost ready for our first service we did plant a lot of this quite late so the crop growth is not going to be amazing at the moment. The yield is going to be reasonably low. I mean, it will still be high enough, the yield, um, that it's going to serve the needs of our reasonably small village perfectly well, I'm sure. So I want to see these people at work here. Oh, 
What's he bringing in? That is firewood coming in, I think. Yeah, more firewood coming in. And here we go. Here he comes in with some... I'm assuming that was iron ore that he's just thrown in there. It was. And then he's plowing the ground next to it. He's obviously going to plant some, some vegetables at the same time. Look at that hot piece of rock. <laughs> so the animation is not quite finished then. And one iron slab is done. Okay, and he's just taken that. His old cunts. Cunts. It is literal cunts. It's not, there's a T in there. And he will bring it in here. To his little blacksmith workshop at the back of his own plot of land. He's gonna need fire. He's gonna need firewood as well, isn't he? Where's he going? I know he's just gonna go and pick up some more. Did she? Oh, I think the. Uh, I think Anna just made the sword. What are you carrying there? Transporting sidearms. I'm pretty sure. He did. Yeah, she made the sidearm. Good honor. Working as a family. So they've got two iron slabs in there now. So no, we are almost done here as well. They will. They have now got enough materials. They can finish this building off. There we go, and our settlement has increased. And you, sir. And have a brewery extension on the back of your building. And we now have enough development points to go again. So what have we got here? Doubles the capacity of all berry deposits. Enables hunters to skillfully lay traps in the forest, which gives a passive income of meat. That could be kind of cool. I'm assuming that also will not... That's just going to catch small animals, right? That's not going after deer. So that's not going to affect the deer deposits. Um, we haven't, Have we done the apiary yet? I'm not even sure we've done the apiary yet. Uh, foreign supplies, new building, a firewood cart. A permanent market store which provides a passive income of firewood as long as the region has enough regional wealth. Region does not pay the transport fee, must be placed on the marketplace. A permanent market store which provides a passive income of bread. Okay. That could be kind of cool. An apple orchard, sheep breeding, and a heavy plough. I feel like we'll do the heavy plow. Because we are going to need that. Do we have to build the heavy plow? I don't know whether we actually have to build the heavy plow or not. Doesn't say anything in anything that's a storehouse. So, in which case then, add a plowing station. Ah, here we go. We need, we need timber. How have we not got a single piece of timber? You know what? This forester hut is is doing a very very good job. It's just like filling in the gaps, isn't it? 
What have we got in here then? We've got some meat. We've got two meat and a hide. I'm getting excited, people. We're getting so close to our first harvest. We can finally put all these things into into uh, into work. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to free up a lot of people though, because we've only got one spare family at the moment. So we are going to have to free up some people from other tasks. There we have we have timber. Quickly build that. Away we go. All these things, just constant building, isn't it? <laughs> Goods will get delivered far more efficiently with multiple oxen now. How can you not find anything? Are they are those trees not fully mature yet? Is that why? Come on, builders, where are you? There we go. Right, so the farmhouse with the large plow is ready. Don't have any more livestock, although we could. Can we can we be cheeky and order one more? He's not the trader's not back for a while yet. We, I mean he's not doing anything right now. We in theory could just pop him up there, couldn't we? I think we now have three oxen, I think. Yeah, we've got three oxen and a horse. So he will get taken up there at some point. I'm assuming once the people get assigned to the farm, they'll come and get him. How are we looking here? 71. You're 98. You're actually pretty good. You're 84. Which, that would be the furthest one along. 74, 69. So that one. So we're going to have to do that field. That is in basically in the order in which it was planted, right? So it'll be that one, that one, that one. And the barley field will be last. I think it is time to build some more houses. How many can we build at the moment then? How much timber? I've only got four timber. Yikes, okay. Just build it on the back of those farms like that. So in theory then, will all of those oxen just come to life now? Or are they only going to take one oxen at a time? I thought they may use more than one. No, they're not going to. Okay, well, it's not an insignificant journey distance, which is kind of irritating that they would only use one oxen in this situation, but so be it. Right, we're in June. We are in harvesting time. We have 87 days left, but we have... Oh, no, wait. Harvesting is in September. I'm being stupid. Crops are still growing, but there are possible droughts. Oh, that's fine. We've got ages yet. That's fine. That gives us more time to, to get uh, more burgage plots in. That is absolutely fine. Right, sidearms-wise, how are we looking? Where's the storehouse? We have ten sidearms now. So who makes the shields? How much, how much beer have you made? Have they made? Oh, we haven't got any beer. Have we? we haven't got any malt. 
Um, so who then would make the shields? So they make war bows. They make helmets, but we can't do that at the moment because I think we need the development branch. That is correct. Aha, the joiner's workshop. So they will produce the shields. I'm tempted, you know, to, to upgrade these two to artisan places as well. We just need more. We need lots of timber. Do we up the... Uh, let's up this. Get our last family in there. So there's no building going on at the moment. Or well, there is, I suppose, those two. But we do have enough berries at the moment. So we can probably just chill out on the berries for the time being. How much iron ore have we got left? Still got 20. It's just this constant need for more and more stuff. They're not, they're not actually uh, building or getting the iron slams, making those iron slams as quick as I was hoping as well. So we could make this one an artisan building because it doesn't have a huge amount of space out back for a veg garden or anything like that. So we could make these two actually, make these two buildings of that type. And then when we get more, since we have nine more wooden planks... These ones can have quite large patches there. I kind of want to... Do you know what I'm thinking about doing as well? Is I'm kind of thinking about, do I make the forester plant some trees around here? Not many, but just some. Just to beautify this a little bit, because it's, it's rather barren of trees and things. I know there's lots of trees around it. It's all very nice. that one done now as well that's practically done doubles the maximum family count can we do that on our other buildings as well if we extend the living space that's going to eat into the vegetable garden size though is it not I think it probably is. So we won't we won't do that for now. Let's just carry on building. Here, how are we looking here? Well, that one is actually that field there is catching up. That field has slowed down a little bit. Seventy four days. They're all they're all on target to, to finish growing at the exact same time. Right, we've got two apries going in as well. I think it makes sense to put them near the fields and help pollinate the fields. I'm sure they don't actually do that in this game, but in reality, that is probably what they would do. So we'll whack that in there as well. Our house, houses are almost done. Three of the four new ones we are building are done. And the, basically all of these families that are moving in here are basically all of them are going to go and work on the fields, assuming that they can, we can get people moved in, in time. There we go. Right, so that's all done. We've now got twenty-two houses or space for twenty-two uh, families. Have we been planting? Have we been doing some good things? I was hoping to see some signs of plants. There's, I don't know, are, they, are these trees going or are they just bushes? I don't know. But now... That apron is finished. We actually have to have people working it by the look of it as well. So will the do do you need people to work these? Let's get to work. Did 
do they just produce transitionary resource? I don't think they've quite worked out the uh, the animations and everything for this one just yet. But we will have some honey. That's fine. Not everything is going to work perfectly at this stage, but we are getting pretty good yield. We are now at full yield. This is good. That's virtually full. That's not far off, and that's not far off either. So we are at the point where the fields are going to give us a full yield, but they're just not quite fully grown and ready to harvest just yet. So we just need all these people to move in. 88%, 90% approval now. That is pretty damn good. Come on, families, move in, would you? We've got just over a month. There we go, that's one family in. You'll be veg gardens. So will you. Chicken. Chicken. This one not finished yet? How is this not finished yet? It's finished. Oh wait. I'm being silly. It's because I'm because I built that. Uh built the chickens, so it went into the thing. Where are you going? Okay. Doing lots of claims at the moment. I'm not liking this. I think we may have to uh start thinking about our own our own army here. Sidearms. Another mercenary company. Another another little mini army about. Bandits have stolen. Another bandit camp has been sighted. Where? Oh, they're close. Right, we need to go and deal with them. Have we got enough money for... Yeah, we do. Treasury. Oh, this is treasury. I've only got regional wealth. I don't have any treasury, do I? Damn it! Okay, we're gonna have to use, we're gonna have to use our own. Uh... Right, rally the rally the units. Where is that camp there? Do I want to do this? Mm. No, disband. I'm lying. It's too close to the harvest. Let's not do that. Okay, right, we've got people going in there. Right, these ones are borderline a bit too far away from the marketplace, I feel. So I think maybe a little market in here may not be the worst idea. I mean, they're getting berries and they're getting close. Okay, no, they're close enough. They're getting all the other stuff. It's just we just need more food. We just need more of a variety of the food that we're that we're offering. Right, seven days then until we're ready to harvest. There's honey now on on. Yeah, it's it's just those ones that are so close to getting the vast majority of the food, aren't they? Do you feel like a marketplace over here wouldn't be the worst idea? Another marketplace over there, especially if we're going to start building more houses 
over here as well. And now he he's trying to claim Wildebrand, which is where the... Oh, he's cleared out the uh, bandits anyway. He's also got armies over here. Can I just... I haven't got enough influence. I don't have enough influence to, uh, to do anything here. What was that resource there that we needed? Clay. We have we have got plenty of clay, to be fair, so we could build a clay furnace. Right, we're in September, ladies and gentlemen. That can only mean one thing. We must now... We must now assign families and begin the harvesting. So we have four currently who are doing the harvesting. Have we got anyone who's moved in here yet? Yes. No one's moved in there yet. We need more. Uh, right, we've got Tentin, but you guys come off that. Straight up there, please. Saw pit. We don't need anybody on that at the moment. Uh, I might take somebody off one of those aprons and get them in there. Right, so we're... We have the f a full army of people. family can go straight in and work that the bees then. Right, how much wheat have we got in here then? Is it going to tell us? Just says, just says wheat. Doesn't say how much, just says we have wheat stored in there. Okay. And now look, we should have, yeah, we got our, our heavy plow. As they now begin to plow the fields, although I was kind of expecting that to, you know, the heavy plow to go a bit quicker than that. Because the people are, are doing quicker work without the plow. I mean, what is he doing? He's got these weird angles that he's going. What's he doing? Absolute. I have no idea what he's doing. He's going the longest way possible. But honestly, these people are going to get these other fields done quicker. And once this field here is done, then all these people are going to move straight on and start helping out with the other fields. I mean, there's a fair bit down here they've not done yet. Okay, apparently they're, uh... Alright, it's sowed and it is growing. That one is done. Right, now, so the big question is now... Six wheat, eleven barley is all stored up there. Have they already been moving this, though? They have not yet been moving it. So I'm sort of hoping that means... Surely we got more... 
food out of those fields than that. Am I missing something here? Where has that stuff gone? I just realised we didn't rotate the fields. We should have rotated. Um, God damn it. We didn't. We should have uh, rotated. That's really shit. Okay. All right. Well, we haven't got much of a choice. We have to make sure we do that next year. Uh, but yes, on the, the subject of where the F all of that food has gone... After all that was said and done, we got six wheat and 11 barley out of it. Is that all we got? There's no way that that's all we got from those fields. The only thing I'm hoping is that that grain that is being transported can make a lot of bread and a lot of flour. Hmm, okay. Something has gone awry here. I'm not sure why I've had such a poor harvest. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to get an even worse one next year because I didn't rotate the crops. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know what's happened to all of that crop. I refuse to believe that that is all that I got from it. We have no wheat left, one flax and 11 barley, and that is all we have. <clears throat> so all of the all of the flour, all, all of the wheat, all of the flour has already been made into all of the bread. And that's it. An entire year of waiting for that field to grow, and that is what we got. I'm at a loss. I really am at a loss. Guys, if I've done something wrong, please let me know in the comments because I don't understand how I've got such a bad yield. I understand that I forgot to rotate that. That means that I'm probably going to get a bad yield, a very bad yield next uh, next year. Um, let's just sort this out now so that we don't forget about it next time. Is that the only one that's going to become flax the following year? So that will become wheat, that will become flax, that's barley, and that's wheat, yeah, okay, that's okay. And then the third year might be a bit a bit weirder, but so be it. Yeah, I've done something wrong here, guys. I think that's the long and short of it. So yeah, please, in the uh, in the comments, please do let me know what I've done wrong. Um, in the next episode, we're going to look to rebuild or to upgrade, sorry, this wooden church, see if we can get some influence. And then we might start going on the war path, I think is probably what we'll do next. Um, I don't like how much of the land that this guy is, has claimed, so we might see if we can get in here and see if we can go and... Um, Imen Ruth, and see if we can go and claim that, but... I don't know exactly how you uh, do it. I'm, I'm assuming you just march your armies over there and just claim it. Is that what you do? So yeah, we'll find that out on the next one. Um, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. We've done some good things. We've done a lot more building in this one. Our town is beginning to look pretty damn good, if I say so myself. And we'll see you all in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And we'll see you all next time.